promised you that we're gonna take you to the milk grotto. And today we will fulfill our promise. Yeah, let's go. So the story of milk grotto, actually it is not in the Bible, but it is a tradition. The story goes like this. When the angel appeared unto Joseph and told him, take the family and go to Egypt because Herod the Great will kill every newborn. So Joseph listened to the angel. He took Mary and Jesus and he started on his flight to Egypt. But on the way, there was a legion of soldiers. So he had to hide for a while. So he came into this cave and hid there. And when Jesus was hungry, he was a little baby. So Mary, of course, started feeding him. And a drop of milk fell from her breast onto the, onto, onto the floor of the cave. And the whole cave became white. So until today, people come, you know, to take the blessing from this place. And even they have small bags from the powder that comes from the cave. And those who do not conceive children will come here and pray and take this powder. But of course, it's not the powder. It is the faith and the prayers. And you will see many pictures of children who have been conceived because their families came here. For people who did not have children for years and years, they did. And they sent a picture to the church here. So let's go down. So, so I would say, be careful what you pray here. <laughs> A lot of people. You can see the children picture. Look, all these children are being conceived from this place. So everybody have a child after coming here and praying. Of course, it's full of faith and prayers. And with the help of that powder, all these children, all these are the picture of the children that we don't see. And the stories, of course, with them. Each child has his own story. But they cannot put all the pictures of the children because there's thousands of them. Yeah. So they put what they can and they change them all the time. Many people don't know about this place. Many people do not visit the place because it's a tradition more than it is in the Bible. It's not a story from the Bible. And here so we, we go. Speak down. Oh, I just want to explain something. This is a very beautiful cross, you know, and all the pilgrims back in the days, even from the second century, they took back home from their pilgrimage, which is the Jerusalem cross, which means the four Gospels and the four corners of the earth coming one in Christ. So these are Gospels? Exactly. And, and this, is, this okay. is Christ in the middle and the four Gospels and the four corners of the earth coming one in Christ. So this is what we call the Jerusalem cross and this is the best gift that you can get from the Holy Land. Ah, Night. like here. Yeah. So guys, because there is no talk, there is no explanation then, so just enjoy what you see. Wow. See the whole family. Here is very special feeling.
So this is the place where the sisters of the Holy Sacrament reside, which is an encloistered sisters that cannot go out and they spend their life praying for peace. So guys, like this, we fulfilled our promise exactly. that we're gonna come here and show the Milkrotto. We hope you enjoyed the video. We hope that actually it was a blessing for you, yeah. not just enjoying. Yeah, and if you ever come to the Holy Land, yeah, you should visit this place because it is underestimated by many people. In these views, it's good to finish this video. I, I hope you will subscribe you know we have a lot of views we have comments but people are shy or i don't know they don't know how to subscribe so find a way to subscribe it's very easy we will see soon somewhere else this is what i always say inshallah we will see bye bye thank you for watching